This segment sponsored by Pineberries on behalf of Wish Farms. Fashion trends may come and go, but what's hot in the food world? Nutrition expert, food insider, and registered dietitian Lauren Maniker joins us with some insight. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. Um, first, there is a brand new berry that's really gaining in popularity. You call it a celebrity. So tell us a little bit about the pine berry. Yes. So I'm here today in partnership with Wish Farms to share all about the pine berry, which, as you said, is the new celebrity of berries. So you'll see on my grazing board here, I have some berries that have a creamy white flake, a creamy white color that's slightly pale pink with some red berries. These are my pine berries. So pine berries are a non-GMO non -GMO hybrid between a Japanese white strawberry and a Florida red strawberry. Now, nutritionally, they're very similar to the Florida red strawberry. They're just missing that particular flavonoid that makes the red strawberry red. Okay. But nutritionally, they're still an excellent source of vitamin C. They're packed with nutrients like fiber, folate, potassium, and they offer a sweet, slightly tropical taste with no added sugar. I grab these at Aldi. They're also available at Fresh Market. Okay, wonderful. And I, I imagine they're great to pack in lunches or just have a uh, healthy snack more often. How do we use pine berries? Anything else? Absolutely. You can use pine berries however you would use traditional berries. So you can add them to a yogurt parfait. You can even drizzle them with some dark chocolate for a little decadence. All right. Well, along with the pine berry, another food trend this year that you're highlighting right now is that grazing board. Uh, tell us about the grazing board. How do we use it? Sure. So the grazing boards are a great way to enjoy some snacks in a healthy and in a visually appealing way. Mm -hmm. So on my grazing board, I included the berries, the classic pine berry, along with some whole grains. Here I have some pop sorghum, which is an ancient grain, which is another hot trend these days, along with some plant-based, we call them jerky. These are basically dehydrated vegetables. Here I have dehydrated tomato and dehydrated mushroom to give you that feeling of eating meat if you're yeah. trying to eat more plants instead. Yeah, it looks beautiful. So this grazing board, really a fun way to combine nutritious foods for, for entertaining if you're having guests over. And then the pine berries are adding the sweetness of a strawberry with a hint of tropical flavor. Anything else about these food trends before we go? I, if you want more information about the pine berries, visit wishfarms.com. All right. So those pine berries are ripe and ready grown at Wish Farms. Definitely something to look for and ask about next time you're in the produce department. Lauren, thank you so much for being here.